So it's uh, five. 5.50 p.m. on the 14th of September 2020. <clears throat> so I, uh, I'm thinking of the word ambition. Ambition. Ambition full stop. That's going to be the title of this video, this vlog. I just want to show something first. I just got this um, DHA3, Omega-3, but this is vegan. Apparently this, this supplement is like you, you, people need it or something, but the, usually it's in the fish, I think, but this one is uh, algal oil, marine algae oil. So apparently this DHA thing is uh, important. But this is a, a vegan alternative, so I, I took one yesterday. So it's pretty expensive. It's a little expensive, I think. I think it's like, I don't know, it's kind of expensive. Uh, Come on, how much is it? Oh, it's forty-four dollars and eighty-one cents Australian. That's for sixty soft gels. So it's kind of expensive. Um. Anyway, so. What I've, I've been watching a lot of videos on, <laughs> I don't know, there's this kind of, uh, what do you call it, uh, dressmaking, dress, women's dressmaking, and I think I might link some, uh, this is especially this one person, she's very good at the, the stuff, uh, yeah, I'll drink, I'll link her video, I mean her channel, I think one channel is enough, anyway, uh, yeah, anyway. So, um, what I was thinking about, like, ambition, that would be... What's wrong with either the culture or, or, or me? Are people ambitious anymore? Are people ambitious? Because I, I remember when I was very young. When I was young, I was incredibly ambitious. Like, I was really ambitious. I had all these goals and dreams and I was, you know, I was working hard and I was very motivated. But along the way, I sort of lost that ambition. And when you lose ambition, you know, when you lose uh, dreaming or when you stop having goals, it's hard to motivate yourself to do anything. That's why I'm like, I, I find uh, it's very hard to do anything is because I don't have any goals. And like, if you don't have any goals, it's hard to just get up and do anything. It's like you're just going around in circles and not going anywhere. Anyway. So, ambition. Um, and I was just thinking about like, is this culture stopping us from having ambition? And by the culture, I specifically am thinking of the psychology of self-care or um, <laughs> I don't know if people used to complain about this you know like uh, when they teach children at school oh as long as you try it's all right and you don't have to win I mean there was that movement right right in school and I feel like the whole culture has become like that where people are like Oh well, you know, you just keep on trying, and you know, don't, don't, don't hurt yourself, don't stress out. All this is self care and things, and I don't know because I mean, is that stopping us from being ambitious, from trying to uh, achieve excellence? You know, do the best you can be. You know, like you know, if you want to be a, a painter, you like you devote your life to become a painter, or. You know, like goals like that. It's like I feel like the the culture is not uh, rewarding or encouraging people to be very ambitious, like to be the best they can be. Um, and when I think about that kind of an attitude, like two people, like 
two people who I can think of who are quite ambitious but who did not necessarily achieve success during their lifetime is like Vincent van Gogh and uh, what's that poet? Her name is Sylvia. I keep on forgetting her name. Uh, Sylvia Platt or Platt. Uh, you know, it was like I think she might have gained some recognition during her lifetime. I don't know, but but definitely Van Gogh. He he, he struggled a lot, right? So Van Gogh was like, I remember someone saying that uh, what what was special about Van Gogh is that he kept on trying, and he 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 was he like he wanted to be a painter. He wanted to be you know that, and he. His life was like this big struggle. Like you know, he didn't give up. He kept on going, and he he was trying to reach like the pinnacle of painting, and you know that kind of a life. You know where you know where you're like struggling and suffering, and where you're just still motivated to be the best. And, you know, it's like no matter what people think of you, you still keep on going. You know that. What happened to that? I used to have that kind of an attitude where I wanted to be the best I could be and actually I remember reading a lot of Van Gogh's letters <laughs> when I was uh, young. Uh, he had, there was this book of Van Gogh's letters I remember. Uh, on that note, I, I, I ordered a, le a book by Primo Levi called The Wretch. Um, it was the second hand book because I couldn't find a new version of that. This, spe this specific edition is like a hardcover. Uh, it's like, um, I think it was published in Britain, I think, but anyway. The reason I got this particular book is because I remember when I was very young, uh, late teens, I remember going to the library and reading this book and I really liked this book. I like Primo Levi. Primo Levi is like, a, uh, I like his writing, anyway. I think I read the periodic table, his book. I think I read it at least twice, maybe th uh, three times. So that's the book I've read, read a bit. Uh, anyway, so yeah, ambition. Like, what happened to it? Well, why aren't we. Is it just me? Um, am I the one who's struggling here? Or. And then I'm also thinking like for some people, maybe they're not very like, is it possible for the self-care movement to actually create people who are quite successful? You know what I mean? Um, is it possible to have that attitude of self-care and being nice to yourself and at the same time achieve like great thing? Can you be, can you be like the greatest whatever without like uh, going through some kind of horrible hardship you know i feel like uh, in order to be the great best in something you have to like go through some suffering and i'm not sure if it's the self-care attitude the psychology or that that's going to help us be ambitious and i was i started seeing this video by about this this fat, fat acceptance by this I think this this person she was talking about like how um, when she was younger she used to be all uh, you know be all in but she she's she's overweight uh, in the video anyway. so she's saying like she used to support the fact fat acceptance but now she's like I haven't seen the whole video but the what I was the what I what the intimation was that actually it's it's not good to just be fat I mean you want to be healthy. But you know, it's being fat is not good. You know, I mean, like loving your body is one thing, but actually <laughs> embracing being fat might not be a good because it might be it can give you health problems. Right? So I feel like the reason I bring that up is because I feel like that kind of thing where you, uh, you, you where you're like, I'm gonna accept myself being fat. I'm not gonna try and lose weight or. Not lose weight to conform to some, to some body ideal, but lose weight in order to be more healthy. I feel like that's sort of like that self-care, self-acceptance, you know, that kind of thing where that might be holding people back. You know, I mean, some of these... I mean, looking at the... I mean, I don't want to talk about the fact that fat, fat acceptance is not something... Anyway, so, so it's not something for me at the moment, anyway. But, um... 
yeah, I feel like we I feel like we might need to go back to this kind of uh, ambition, you know, trying to set high goals and achieve them instead of like sort of being like, okay, as long as I tried, it's okay, you know. No, it's maybe that's not the way it, it should be. Maybe that's really stopping people from uh, living a life that they feel fulfilled, you know. But sometimes, you know, when you when you actually go through hardship and you achieve goals and things, you feel very fulfilled. You feel confident. You feel good about yourself. Um, you know. So anyway, so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, well, like, you know, I wanna, I wanna be, I wanna go through. I wanna be ambitious again. I don't wanna just like. I want to have my goals, my short-term, long-term, <laughs> medium-term goals. I want to figure out what they, what, what, I, what it is I want to do, and yeah. So I think it's, it's ambition is a very important thing. I think that movie Sylvia, where Gwyneth Paltrow acted in it, it's, you can see it like how she was struggling with her mental health and. Uh, you know, she's got all these obstacles, but she keeps still keeps on trying. It's, it's like the person is keeping on trying, is never giving up, and you know, in that sense, you can say, oh, it's, life is just a journey. But no, not necessarily, because uh, when you're living the life, you're not thinking, oh, life is just a journey. I'm just gonna <laughs> take it easy. No, when you're living your life, you're like, no, I'm gonna do the, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna achieve this. I'm gonna push myself. When you're living it, it's like it's not like life is just this journey. That might be like some perspective looking back on it or looking outside of your, yourself. But for you, uh, a life that is lived with motivation and ambition is like a, you know, it's uh, it's got some intensity to it. It's got some passion. It's, it's got some, you know, like I, I want that. I, I want that. I, I used to have it when I was younger, and I want it. I want to get up every day and like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, I've got things I need to do. It's not, and these days I'm like, oh, how am I gonna get up? It's like, oh yeah, I can, I can drink my coffee. Maybe the, that's that's the motivation for me to do, get up is, oh, I can drink my coffee. And then after I drink my, eat my breakfast, I'm like, oh, I start getting depressed because I'm like, what do I do now? And that's when I get stuck eating my, not eating my veggie stew properly. So it's like, it's like, after my breakfast, it's like my life, uh, my day goes down from there. So I need to have ambition. And with with ambition, I can have stiff stuff. I, you know, I want to, I want to achieve this. I want to work towards this. This is something I want to do. This is what I want to be. <sighs> I want to be the best I can be, you know, like, push myself, go places I haven't gone. Ambition is very important. I think we should be ambitious and I think we should encourage and reward ambition. I think it's important. I think that's, in a way, the one of the effects of having that ambition is that you might actually be happy and fulfilled and alive. And, you know? It's like an unintended effect, like you're going for the goal, whatever it is, but the effect of that the uh, is that you become happy and, and alive. But you're not going, to, you're not, your goal is not to become happy or alive, your goal is to achieve something. But through pursuing that goal, uh, the benefit or the bonus is that you actually feel alive and uh, you feel alive. <laughs> you feel alive. Uh, anyway, you know, sometimes happy, sometimes the ups and downs of the <laughs> the drama. I mean, you know, like I don't want to say drama, but the ups and downs of you know. Sometimes you can fail. You feel the pain of the failure, and then you still keep on going up. It's like you're alive. Ambition is very important. <laughs> 